let's <laughs> say for whatever reason Sean McDermott decides that it's time to call it a quits. Doug Marone says. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Who would you rather have back at the helm? Rex Wa- R- Rex Ryan? Sorry. I can't even say the guy's name without <laughs> seething up. <laughs> <laughs> Rex Ryan or Greg Williams? You know, this is why I'm glad I line up some extra questions because I have pretty much the same question. This is why I asked you about the the no takesy backsies, you have to answer it. Okay. <laughs> um, so, so I had pretty much the same question I had. Would you rather have Rex Ryan, but he keeps uh, Jim Schwartz on as the coordinator, doesn't touch anything, just as an overseer, or you bring back Doug Marone, um, but he keeps Brian Dable as the coordinator? Um, to your question, I would say I'm going to go – I'd have to go Greg Williams. Uh, he's a little bit of a scumbag. The way he runs his – he had, what, Bounty Gate and whatnot going on. Yeah. But you know, under his time as a head coach, we had some top-flight defenses. And I think you could bring in a coordinator for the offense that could make it work. Granted, we didn't do that, but mm-hmm. – um, under Rex, he took like what was it a top five, top three defense? It was a four three base. He switched it to a three four. He had pieces that didn't fit, mm-hmm. and he was supposed to be like this defensive mastermind that took a great defense and and made it worse. So <laughs> for me, it's got to be Greg Williams. See, for me, I I gotta pick I gotta pick Rex Ryan, and I'm not mm-hmm. happy about that, but. The main reasoning for this decision is that Greg Williams, with that bounty gate kind of thing, it's that's real bad in my eyes. Like I, I don't want anything to do with you. The fact that you're you're literally coaching your players to hurt other people is just beyond me. And it's unacceptable. So, I don't... As big of a clown as Rex Bryan is, and how much I really didn't like him on the Bills, and how I knew it was going to like implode, which it inevitably did, I'd rather have that than have Greg Williams on my team, leading this now, team. Now, I'm going to entitle you to your opinion, but I'm also going to try to talk you off the ledge of Rex Ryan. Now, I don't know if you recall this part of Rex Ryan's tenure where he um, brought, what was it, I.K. Enkampali? Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> the guy that socked his quarterback in the Gino face. Geno Smith. And made yeah. him honorary captain. And made Thursday him honorary captain football. for the game. <laughs> and he brought, he brought that guy in because he liked his grit and whatnot. Like, is that just, is that not Bounty Gate without getting caught, like, I think it's a completely savage move, but it's not Bounty Gate. I okay. thought what well, I remember thinking to myself, like, "Wow!" When he did it, I was like, "Wow, that is that is bold." <laughs> I remember we signed and Kimpali, and I was like, "What is going on?" I know. Can't wait till Sunday. 